Today let's look at electron configuration of atoms from the periodic table. Okay, what an electron configuration is, the configuration is the distribution or the assignment of the atom's electrons in its individual orbitals. Okay? And an orbital is a three-dimensional space that houses or lodges the electrons that are orbiting or surrounding the atom's nucleus. And remember, the nucleus is where the protons and the neutrons are found in atoms. And there are four major types of orbitals. We have the s orbitals, which s orbitals uh, can occupy a total of two electrons. We have the d orbitals, which have a total occupancy of 10 electrons. The f orbitals, which have a total occupancy of 14. And the p orbitals, which have a total occupancy of six. Now, in class we discussed uh, each one of these and I showed you some three-dimensional shapes that the S and the P and the D and the F orbitals take. But um, let's take a look at how we assign the electron configuration to an atom. So let's first let's start with uh, a simpler element let's say we start with phosphorus here number 15 okay phosphorus is number 15 uh, symbol is P atomic number is 15 so we have 15 protons and we have 15 electrons to assign now I'm going to use this block configuration periodic table to help assist us with this so with phosphorus Okay, 15 protons, atomic number, 15 electrons. We assign the electrons following the periodic table, and we have 15 to go to. So we're going to right here is where we're going, to this particular block here. So the first electrons go into the first energy level, the s orbital, and there are two electrons in there see the 1s1 then the second electron would be the 1s2 goes in then we put the electrons into the 2s second energy level s orbital two electrons so at this moment we've occupied four of the electrons we have 11 left so we continue forward we're still on the second level of electrons, second energy level. Now we're into the p orbital, and we have a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six electrons, okay. At this moment, we have ten electrons. We would have configured neons arrangement. We have five left. The next two go into the three s orbital two electrons there see the number 11 and number 12 electrons at this moment we're at magnesium and let's finish it we're still on the third energy level we're going to phosphorus so we're going to go to the third level a p orbital and three electrons there's the 15 electrons for phosphorus okay now we always use the lowest energy orbital available. Okay. Alright, let's try another one. Let's go a little bit larger. Let's try selenium here. SE. And there's 34. Okay. So, selenium. Atomic number 34. 34 protons. We start with the configuration, 1s2, then we move to the second energy level, fill the s orbital with 2, we continue on the second energy level, we move into the p orbitals and we put all 6 there, that takes us up to 10, 
Okay, so again, right at this moment, we're at neon. Then we move into the third energy level. We use the lowest energy orbital available, which would be the S, and occupy two electrons. Continue on the third level with the P orbitals. And this time we're going to fill them all the way up, so six. So right now we're at argon, number 18, one of the noble gases. We have 16 electrons left. Okay. Now notice we move to the fourth energy level. Even though we still on the third level have a D block orbital, we don't use that one because again, remember that principle, we use it the lowest energy orbital available and the 4s is a lower energy so we go the 4s we have two electrons in there so we're up to 20 electrons then we go across the D and this is still back in the third energy level 3d 10 and so at this moment you're at 30 electrons which would be right here and that corresponds to zinc. We're going to selenium, so we have four more to go. So we're into the fourth energy level, the p orbitals, and four. Okay. So that would be selenium. Now when we look at these configurations, we could assign who is, or determine who is, the valence electrons. Valence electrons are those electrons that are available for reaction, for chemical bonding and so forth. The valence electrons are those that have the highest energy level coefficient. Okay, They have the highest energy. So for selenium here it would be the fourth level, this 4s and 4p occupying orbitals. So it would have a total of six valence electrons, these four and those two. If we look back at the phosphorus it would be those in the 3s and 3p, the highest energy level. So phosphorus has a total of five valence electrons. Mm -hmm. Finally, what I'd like to show you is on these configurations, they can become very lengthy or uh, complex to write because as you move down the periodic table, we get more and more orbitals occupied. We can do a shortcut. We can use what we call noble gas configuration. We can use what we call noble gas configuration. All right, what noble gas configuration is, it's choosing an element. So let's go back to the selenium, okay, number 34 on the periodic table. And instead of showing the complete configuration, starting all the way back and doing the 1s, 2s, 2p, and so forth, we shortcut it with the nearest noble gas. Now, noble gases are those in this far right group 18 or group 8a column. They have completely filled orbitals because we've come all the way across the periodic table so all of the s, the p, and the d orbitals are filled up. So for selenium we could backtrack to argon and start there and show the configuration. So we would just, for selenium here, we would have argon and we use brackets, square brackets, to show where we're starting. So there's argon and then we continue forth. So we argon is right here at the end of the 3P. So that's the first 18 electrons. Then we continue and we have the 4S2 the 3D10 and the 4P4. Okay. It helps us just to isolate the valence electrons because those that are are the ones that are involved in reacting and chemical bonding and so forth. So it kind of isolates them so you can just see what is available for reactions. So a noble gas configuration. If we were to do the same thing with this phosphorus, we would backtrack from phosphorus, go backwards to the previous noble gas, which would be neon. So for phosphorus noble gas configuration, we would have neon. Then we would move forward, and we would have 3s2, 
3P3. Okay, so a noble gas configuration.